Hello everyone, welcome back to Making Dreams Come True. My name is Foley and in this episode we are taking a different route with uh, what I've been normally doing as of late. I'm going to be focused on getting my defense up. I am at level 94 currently, closing in on 95 and I am going to train it pretty much all through Slayer. And while I'm not doing Slayer, I'm going to be doing fishing and runecrafting so that I can get the requirements for the Elite Diaries. And I'm also doing daily corrupted gauntlets. I'm either going to get two kills a day or go for one hour, whichever comes first. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you're new here and like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put up more videos in the future. And I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, nice. <laughs> got a whip. Okay, so I just got a Barrels Brothers task and I figured why the hell not? I've never done it on task before, so this should be pretty fun. Okay, so I didn't know this till now, but every Barrows brother you kill counts towards the task. It's not one Barrows run, so you're looking at taking six kills out of every run. But it does give me an excuse to do a little bit of Barrows, I guess. Alright, and we were only able to get nine Barrows chests done. No uniques. This is the last chest, so let's see if we get anything. No, we don't. But that is alright. Again, it makes sense for it to be one Barrow's kill for every chest you get, but I also get the sense that it's one kill per brother killed, so. Not as great of a task as I thought it was going to be, because I really didn't get to get many chests, but it is what it is. Here's the loot I got. Just a couple hundred blood runes and death runes and almost a thousand chaos. Alright, and that is the 499th task complete. Let's go to Konar and see what type of task she will give us for the 500th. Rolls on Death Plateau. That is fine. I can melee that. All right. And there we go. Our 500 task for 700 points. We now have 1,030 points. 195 greater demons. But first, it is time for my daily corrupted gauntlet. So let's go do that. Yeah, so I just went to th through the GE and uh, someone threw a fucking holy hand egg at me. So now it's mine. I'm keeping it forever. Um, yeah, I've never seen that before in my life, but that is fucking hilarious. And it's cool because it matches my outfit. So that's even better. I yellow clicked and then got stomped. Fuck yeah. Or some body runes. Fuck yeah, because I got bodied. <laughs> Yeah, precisely. Three, two, one, bodied. There we go. Second try, we got the kill. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't switch pairs in time. That was uh, tank two hits. That was not good. Oh, my God. Well, that fucking sucks. I yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't switch pairs. I was moving and switching weapons at the same time while I had to switch pairs. I should have just kept to my priorities and switch pairs. And I ran out of food. Dang it! I had a bad prep. I only got to bring in like twelve food, so it is what it is. But yeah, one clear for the day, and we probably have over a hundred deaths now, huh? One hundred three deaths, forty-four completions. All right, back to that greater demons task. And I had these two pets in the bank for a while, and I tried putting them in the oak house, but I can only fit three pets in there at a time, so I need to upgrade it. There we go, that should be enough for us to fit these two pets in at least. Look at that, we got all five of our pets here just chilling. But yeah, if you're wondering why I have just like some random shit in my inventory, actually, after that uh, greater demons task, I decided to do some cleaning up on the old bank tab. So I have been going through stuff and just organizing it a little more. I just got done with the first tab, so I still got, you know, quite a bit other tabs to go through but it is a start and here is a minute and a half of 5,000 times speed of me reorganizing my bank i found it satisfying to watch so maybe you will too
All right, the uh, cleaning and organizing of the bank is done. I sold off a couple things, so I'm up to 94 mil now. I think I was at like 87, 88 mil. So, you know, made a couple mil just by getting rid of a couple things. I actually still need to get rid of one of these master scroll book. But yeah, everything's looking a lot cleaner, at least in my eyes for the time being. And I did get rid of one whole tab so I can have, I can add another tab for whatever it may be. And I honestly think the most cluttered one is probably the skills tab. It's a little cluttered. Like I have the outfits right here. I didn't really know how to organize it, but that was the best I could do. The loot tab stayed the same. The skilling tab stayed the same. And this, um, I took the slayer tab I had and I put a lot of stuff, as you can see, into the gear tab. And then I put um, stuff like the ancient totems and the ancient shards as well as, as all my jars and like dark claws and heads in here so everything's under one tab in here now that's how i got rid of one whole tab but yeah it's nice having things a little bit more organized again it's probably been a couple months since i've went through and you know gave things a little little cleaning so good to have that out of the way and i know i've been starting to slack again on these clue scrolls and that pretty much started right around the time desert treasure 2 came out and i was just so honed in on farming the bosses that i didn't even bother doing the clue scrolls so i think tomorrow i I will do all these clue scrolls before I do Slayer again and then start to do the clues that I get. I think the rule I'm going to make is I'm not going to teleport as soon as I get a clue scroll. I think I'm just going to either finish the task or wait until I have to bank to do the clue scroll, whichever one comes first, and then I will do it. Because the thing I hate about clue scrolls is when you do them you know you have to re-gear and all that so i think while i'm already in between doing something it's not really too big of a deal to have to re-gear because i'm more than likely gonna have to re-gear to do my next slayer task anyways so makes sense all right it is a new day and i have completed all these clues like i said i was so i'm just gonna go ahead and open them here's the beginner which is uh, uh easy is just as bad the medium is a little better the hard a hey, we get a pith helmet for a collection log slot so cannot complain and the elite and we get a master clue so yeah i guess uh we can go do that master clue real quick this master step had me go into uh juna which i had to wear three guthix items and i found out that you can wear any of the elite void armor pieces and they count towards it and i figured since i'm here i might as well do my tears of guthix all right and i'm pretty sure it's hunter i'm gonna get this xp in Oh, thieving. 12,000 thieving experience. Very nice. Um, so I have to travel to a spirit tree that I planted myself, which I have 85 farming. So I believe that is what I need. Spirit trees. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have one planted, but I can plant one in my POH. I just didn't before because I didn't have the farming level for it, but I do now. So I'm going to go do that. All right, here we go. And now we got ourselves a spirit tree. So I can just click here, go to the, uh, just one of the spirit trees. And then I can go back to my house, which that can come in use. I do need to get a higher construction level to put these two together. Um, which I have a decent amount of planks in the bank that I've gotten from miscellanea. And sometimes I'll just AFK mahogany plank make. Um, so I have 7,600 mahogany planks that I've just been sitting on plus 6,700 logs that I still need to convert. I'll get to that at some point, but not right now. I don't necessarily need it at the moment. All right, we got the casket and it's a mimic. Okay, well, let's go do a mimic. All right, I have not done this boss in a while, but I'm pretty sure you just pray a uh, melee and then go hog wild. All right, haven't done this boss in a while, but uh, I believe I'm ready. Just gonna sip the stamina pot and go in. Fight the mimic. All right, that was pretty easy. And we're gonna take the mahogany plank because that is what we do. And what do we get? I mean, some Onyx Bolt, I mean, that's a, that's a little bit of money, so I cannot complain about it. Total loot worth 475k. And we're back to Slayer and got 177 Abyssal Demons. But first, our daily gauntlet. Already putting that spirit tree to use. Look at that. Oh my god. I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay. Everything was going swell until it wasn't. All right, there we go. 
AC number one of the day, and we get some dragon arrows and some alcabols. All right, two in a row. There we go. So I was only in here for about 30 minutes instead of a whole hour. Awesome. And we get, uh, I guess, some runes. That's about it. But hell yeah, we got ourselves two clears, 45 kills. Oh, not 45, 46 kills. Oh, man. Oh, stepping up. God damn, boy. All right, and here we are back at Abyssal Demons. Maybe we'll get another whip today. Oh, oh, the internal gym. Would you fucking look at that? Oh, you gotta love to see that bad boy. I mean, it could have been an imbued heart, but I mean, still, that's the first uh, unique I've gotten off a of superior. So, and it comes very in handy whenever you're doing clues and shit like that. So, hell yeah, boy. If we look down here in the Slayer helmet, I have killed 143 superior creatures. Now, it is about a 1 in 352 chance to get it from a Greater Abyssal Demon. And the highest drop rate is from the Colossal Hydra, which is a 1 in 160. So we are definitely a little, a little spooned on a superior unique drop. So that is pretty cool to see. Well, I mean, no whip this task, but I mean, we got the internal gem plus a whole dark totem and one ancient shard. And a hard clue. See, so, I mean, it's a pretty good task. Pretty good task. All right, and to make the internal gem, I just need a gold bar, a ring mold, and the internal gem itself. And there we go. Our internal slayer ring. I never thought I'd have one of these unless I was just like really in game and had nothing else to spend my money on. But yeah, it's cool to have this uh, permanent upgrade. Save a couple bank slots too as well. Yeah, if I look here, um, I made all my Slayer rings that I own now in one batch. I mean, to have just only this many Slayer rings left by the time I got the internal ring, that's kind of a... I mean, I was pretty close on, I guess, quote unquote predicting. I don't need these anymore, so I'm just gonna fucking drop them. See, sometimes, sometimes there's nice people out in the wild. All right, we got the hard casket from that task. Let's see what we get. A bunch of... I, I mean, I, okay, I guess I got some sharks. Okay, I, I mean, who am I kidding? That was fucking shit. All right, that was 20k. Okay, it was, it was, it was trash. But, but, but 102 hard clues have been done. I got my first gargoyles task. So that means that I can officially use this internal slayer ring for the first time. So let's go do that. But oop. Oh, we just got a dust battle staff from the fucking superior. I think that's my third one, so... Yeah, that's why I didn't notice it at first, because it's worth fucking nothing. Oh man, you gotta love getting these, uh, these superior smoke devils. They look so badass. Alright, this shall be interesting. Vardorvis for a slayer task. I didn't think I'd be going back to him this soon, but you know, I I have to. It's a Slayer task, and I'm just imagining how good the kills are going to be with the Slayer helmet on. All right, this is going to take up like all my money, but I really want to use it, so I'm going to buy it. We're going to buy some Dragon Claws. And there we go. Look, we bought them for 90.9 million gold. And I have 2.8 million gold. Oh, that's scary. A white stack. That's kind of scary. But... We do have a loot tab that we could sell off for a couple mil if we need it, and we're pretty good on supplies. I mean, I mean, we still have a thousand prayer pots left, so I might need to go back and get some more divine combat potions soon, but it should be fine for now. Just look how sick these dragon claws are. Look at that. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this. All right, got to use claws for the first time. I didn't get to see the damage though, I was kind of freaking out, I was a little bit low on HP. But they did work, I do know that. Alright, we got that hard casket. Oh, let me bank first and then I'll open up this hard casket. I forgot to do this last night before I started doing a Vardorvis, but I only did like one trip for Vardorvis, so... Alright, before I go do more Vardorvis, I got this hard casket I want to open up. And yeah, it's pretty shit. Oh my god, that claw just hit so fucking hard. God. Damn. Onyx bolts, very nice. 
I gotta admit, Vardor of the Sun Task is pretty nice. I mean, five kills without getting a supply drop, that's uh, pretty damn good. God damn, I love them claws. Into some dragon darts, very nice. Here is the casket from Vardorvis. Hey, we got ancient plate legs and I believe that's two, the Guthic stole. I don't think I've gotten one of those before. Yep, that is two in one casket, pretty nice. Oh my God, that thing fucking slaps. <laughs> oh, I love these D-claws, God damn. Hey, an Awakener's Orb. We got 11 more kills on the task. Hey, a medium clue scroll, and we have one more kill to go, and I actually don't have enough supplies for it, so I have to rebank and then come back to get the fucking kill. And the last kill, we get a Blood Quartz. <laughs> okay. But all right, that is the task done. I, I really didn't expect to come back to Vardorvis, but it's pretty fun on a Slayer task. You kind of shred through them. But yeah, 952 kills now, and we got a total of 60,000 slayer xp pretty much the only downside is, is i have to use the fang on slash and that gets me strength xp and that was not working towards my defense but i did have my claws on defense so i was gaining a little bit of defense so very nice 247 gargoyles got ourselves a superior that fucking 75 fire runes from that holy shit hey we got another superior towards the end of the task very nice oh we got a dust battle staff lol okay all right all right i get it i fucking get it oh oh my god okay we got a superior at the very end of the task that's crazy it's like uh it was like 10 or something kills apart from the last superior and I'm pretty sure we got nothing but coins right there because, yeah, nothing dropped. So, either way, it was a pretty good trip. Three superiors, we got the dust battle staff, on, unfortunately. But we also got two granite malls, so not too bad. Two 180 abyssal demons, okay. Hey, level 96 defense, look at that. We're closing in on finishing this task, too. You know, I've never actually killed Drakes before, but um, I'm pretty sure there's some collection log items for him, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do them, see what they're all about. All right, another hard casket and no collection logs. Okay. Oh, that is a level 97 Slayer. I didn't get the pop up, but I saw the fireworks go off. And this is the superior drake i've never seen it before i hear that it can paralyze you with a melee hit keeping an eye on that oh oh i'm not looking great i had to flinch it for the end because yeah i got i got scared it gave me a dragon mace though <laughs> oh shit 193 vampires sounds good to me all right 19 dark beast easy enough all right hard casket before we do the dark beast and we get shit all right, and I totally forgot to do my gauntlet runs for yesterday. So I'm going to be in here for two hours today or four kills, whichever one comes first. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. There we go. Oh, God, smacked a 40 right there at the end because I decided to run under him i thought he died so i didn't think he was gonna attack but at least i didn't die from that stomp oh man i wasn't even looking at the boss i wasn't even looking there we go a very clean kill had lots of food left over i only used like five food that's awesome and we got a lot of gems okay Oh man, yeah, I... I switched prayers one tick too late. Oh my god, okay. There we go, we got the kill. A little sketchy, had three food left. There we go. Two in a row, and we are done for the day. Nine minutes before the two hour time, and we got the Corrupted Gauntlet Grandmaster, which I believe is... 50 kills on the Corrupted Gauntlet. Yep, 50 kills on the Corrupted Gauntlet. Let's see what we get for our 50th kill. 
Um, just some alkables and some runes and yeah. Okay, cannot complain. Let's go get ourselves a Slayer task and see what we're going to be up to. All right, 96 more drakes. I actually didn't mind the drakes task, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it until I get the collection logs. Oh, wow, a drakes claw. Oh my god, I didn't expect to get one so soon. Yeah, the, oh wow, okay, there are one in 2,560. Okay, well, that's uh, that's pretty funny because I've gotten 110 kills. <laughs> what the fuck? I got another Drake's Claw, dude. What the hell? All right, I got a hard clue. I got a master clue. All right, and here we are with the master casket. No collection logs and worth 155k. 163 abyssal demons. Oh, I got a fucking abyssal whip. I was I was looking at my other monitor. Well, well, would you fucking look at that? Very nice. All right, there's the hard casket from the abyssal demons. And we got some purple sweets. All right. That is going to be all the time that I have for this video. Just fishing while I'm editing. I am up to 85 fishing. So closing in on that gap for the elite diary. As for progress, we're three levels away from 99 defense, which I will continue to go for throughout the next uh, however long it takes. That's my next goal. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. Thank you for watching. My name is Foley, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.